Ever. I have never said Am that. Am I being a complete idiot with your guys' bromance? No. Jen? No. I actually promise you that. And I literally thought about this the other day. And I was like, it's like it's kind of like rude to say. Well, not rude to say, but like I don't want to be a shitty guy when it comes to Ty. But whenever we talk about final threes and stuff like that, I always said I would take you. Always said that. Guaranteed. If I won. Are you sure you're not having conversations? With I the swear to God. I am just like you would get rid of me when the time comes. If need be. I swear to God. I'll swear on my family again. No, you don't see it. No, I do. I swear I haven't. I really haven't. I'll look you in the eye and tell you that. I've never said that, ever. Has Ty? I need to, to me? know. To me, or to like around you, to other, about me. No. He has never once said that to me, ever. I swear to God. Okay. That's we, all you I were told that though. Why? You can't tell. Awesome, Brad. No. Oh. You, if Bro? you can't tell. I've never said that to him. Don't. Like, that stays with us then. Because we need that to know that he's stirring right. the pot. Right. <sighs> I have never said that to Rob. And he said, in order for us to build trust, I need to know that this isn't going in. This information isn't leaving this room. Oh, uh, really? You literally walked in seconds after he said that. Really? Like, seconds. So he's just trying to pull you on more to him. Like, I could have kept that information to myself. Oh, absolutely. And rolled with it. Right. I have never I've obviously been nervous about you two since the start. Yeah. Not nervous, but like aware that that could happen. Yeah. Not nervous. Yeah. Listen, I've never once said that ever. In my head, it's always been final three and then whatever happens, happens. But why would you pick me? I what just, makes you think that? Because I just feel like for me. Because you could beat me. I honestly don't think I could beat you. Uh, you I think I could beat Ty. I do think I could beat Ty. Really? Yeah. You guys have like the same game. I feel like I've played a better game than him though, thus far. I think if you watch the tapes, you would see. I think you have. Yeah, I think that, and I think in the end I'll have more wins than him and stuff like that. I think I'll make bigger moves than he will. Okay. Um, I think you have played a better game than me. I think you would beat me at this point. Really? Yeah. Socially, well, that was another thing. Like, a lot of people planted in my head, like, you know, you're not gonna win against those boys, right? And I know they're planting it in my head, so I doubt, but <laughs> well, that's fucked. That's actually fucked. <sighs> well, no, one, I've never said that you're expendable ever. It's, my head has always been final three. Two, I literally have thought about this many times that it would take you final two, and three, um, what was the last one? I don't know, like... Oh, that's why. Because three, I feel like on a game level, if we make it to the final three, it will be because of us. Like, me and you. Like, I feel like our game relationship is very strong. And like we're... And similar. You know what I mean? And like, yeah, ties is strong too, but I feel like we have a different type, like a different level. I agree. And at that point, it would literally be me saying, we are here because of this. This is why. And okay, you, I agree with that. You are deserving of going to the final two no matter what if I win in that situation. Because if it wasn't for you, I would not be there. Because you guys do see the work that I'm putting in. Yes. That's why I think you're playing a better game day. than me. You are playing a better game than me. I'm out here working out and I know in the back of my head that you're doing things that are helping us moving forward. So it's like I have full trust in you. I trust you with everything. Literally everything. Anytime someone tells you me can, something, what happens? You should. I do. Okay. That's why I come to you with these things that I think might upset you but I still tell you that's why yes yeah like I, I come to you with everything I know every one every time I'm told something I come to you and tell you okay every single time okay yeah. I had to ask you one thing I can tell you right now actually um I wasn't supposed to tell anybody <laughs> I'll tell you because I tell you everything <laughs> you know Vic has a slot pass <laughs> did she tell you that yeah but she said you can't you can't I tell anybody yeah she wasn't supposed to tell anybody but whatever but she does have it. But she can't use it. Oh. Right now. Because it's too late. But, yeah. Okay. 
but that was like another thing. She said, please don't tell anybody, but I will tell you because I tell you everything. Mm. No, honestly, Beth, I would, I would never say that. That's just like- So you're just trying to get in my head. Yes, and I, first of all, I would never fucking say it to Ro. Ever. Well, I don't know because Vic's been coming to me and is like, do you really think that Judd and Ty have something with Ro? I was like, in my head, it's just like that weird four thing we made. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I don't think so, girl. No, like, no, no, no. But then when Ro pulled me aside today, or when I went in there to chat, mm-hmm. we were just chatting about like what literally we were talking about when you came in. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, okay, can we just stop talking about that for one second? Like, I really need to tell you something. And like, this is how I'm going to build trust with you. And I was like, okay, what? And he's like, like, he's like, what would your plan be for next week? Because remember I told him I'm like using you two? Mm-hmm. He's like, so to what extent are you using the boys? Mm-hmm. And I was like, um, pretty much just like a shield. Like, I think it would be really good for you. It would be really good for me. Like, they're the last duo, whatever, whatever. Like, you know. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, so like, what would you do if you want HOH next week? And I'm like, well, I'm not putting them up. That's what you're asking. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not putting Jed and Ty up next week. Are you kidding me? And he was like, no, 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 I was just wondering. Like, I was, I agree with you. Like, it's too early for that. Mm-hmm. I was like, you're fucked. Like, I can't believe you're actually saying that to me right now. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, okay, like, it's like row smile. And he's like, I probably shouldn't say that. No, I won't say it. And I was like, well, you have to. And he was like, like, the way that those boys talk about you, Beth, like, you're very expendable to them. And I was like, okay, like, how so? And he's like, you gotta open your eyes up a little bit. He's like, you kind of need me and Brayden moving forward. Like those, like Jed and Ty have their bromance. I'm sure they have a name. And he's like, the way that they talk. And he's like, there's been several, he said there's been several different events that have happened that have proved that you would take me out. No, no questions asked. Several events. Or conversations or whatever. He said, he said the word several. I honestly don't even know what he's referring to. If he's if he's referring to any time he's asked about our relationship, and I remember I told you, you it's, personal? it's personal, because I was worried that he would try to take one of us out okay. if he knew how close we were. I was scared that he was the HOH, and if he knew that we were tight, say he put me in tie up, then if I came down, he would 100% put you up to break that up. It's the only reason I've ever said that it was a personal relationship, and I've also never even talked to him about this relationship other than that time, which was yesterday. I've never okay. once talked about you. Oh, I believe that. Like, you don't even ever talk to him. No, I've never talked to him. Unless you four boys actually did have something. No, we never did. The only thing is what we said to you. We said the jury thing. We've never had anything closer than that. That's why I didn't think twice to send Kyle home. Okay. And I, would, I was down to send him home on week two. If I had something with him, I would never do that. You know? I swear to God. I, I mean, no, no, you're not I expendable. Okay. Like, literally, when I think about us, I think about you being, like, the strongest person in this trio. <laughs> no. Don't say I that. I swear. I would never say you're expendable. Okay. I swear to God. I would take everyone out first. Like, I would go home for you to stay. Oh, like, stop. I'm serious. No, 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 no. Don't no, say I'm serious. like that. I'm serious. Like, I don't want... Like, that's some bullshit to me. But that's just, like, annoying. Like, really, like, really pissing me off. Don't like, this is, like, thinking. the only strong thing I have in this house. Like, me too, dude. Like, strong. You literally know about every, everything I have yeah. outside of it. Yeah. In order for us to make it to the end. Yes. And we've always been fully transparent. Always. I literally don't have a secret with you. Yeah, me neither. No, that's annoying to hear. I had to ask you. Yeah, no, I'm happy you had. So I'm happy you didn't just roll with it. Because that's just not true. Like, I have no strong relationships in this house. And even before Ty, like, my relationship with you was way stronger. And then you guys are just, like, on the couch right down there, like, making, or on the table making jokes. And I was like, fuck's sake. Yeah. Like, I mean, honestly, it looks like that, but at the end of the day, like, I'd rather people think that than think that we're such a strong trio, or that me and you are a stronger duo on the end, because then that, that will put more of a target. <clears throat> but, no. Answer your question. Well, does it sometimes scare you that you have two things, then? What? Good night, house guests. Tie and Sleep well. Tie. Like, yeah. 
thing with John and then the thing with me. Yes. Like that, you're like extra dangerous to people. Yeah. It is scary, yeah. But it's like, what do I do Because I hate that, I know. Like, there's nothing I can do now. All I can do is trust the numbers and trust the people that I've built relationships with. That's all I can do. Tina, Tara, Keeper, and Rome have been in the secret Expedia room for like an hour. Really? And when I first walked in, mm -hmm. they were in complete silence. Really? To watch out for whatever that is. I told Vic about it too. Yeah. Sketch. That's a for sure sketch. Mm -hmm. And they were like, you can tell when Tina is talking game. Because she'll immediately just like, like, you can just tell when Tina's talking game. Should we joke or something? Yep. You should watch the next time you have a game talk with her and someone walks in the room. Just watch what she does. Mm -hmm. Okay. To always be like right away, like how's it going? How's it? like no one ever continues on with the conversation they were having. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they were so odd. Mm -hmm. That's why I think it's gonna be really hard to convince Keith to get Tara out next. Mm -hmm. But I was just like going What's through all the situations in the OLG room in my head, all the relationships I have, and you guys have. Tara is a hundred percent the easiest one. Mm -hmm. We talked about it in the kitchen. Keith was like pretty much down for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. He said like we said like what's your relationship like with Tara? And he just like she's just a, a wild card. Like she's sporadic. And he's like he's like Keith said he had a conversation with Tina one on one about like her game moving forward individually. And like she said that she's like an individual player. And then uh, Keith's like yeah, and he knows that like Tara's gonna have to go. Like next before yeah. Or soon. Yeah. Gonna have to. Okay. Yeah, definitely we'll watch out. I need. I mean, we have to watch out for that. I guess. I don't know if that's anything, or if they're just talking about this, like this situation with the veto. Because obviously, those three are the most worried about going up if Roe uses it. So oh, I could yeah. see it being something like that, but who knows? Okay, and like a part of me does want to have a conversation with Brayden. We got over in the kitchen. He is out to lunch, though. I think those two have no idea what's going on in this game. What, what do you think? Like, Brayden thinks he has a key for her. What? Oh, yeah. yeah I, what I was straight up at the about? sink, was like, no, you don't, Brayden. And he's like, yes, I do. Like, he would keep me. He's like, I just have a feeling he would keep me if I was on the block. No. And, like, this is in the situation if Austin was down. Yeah. He's like, you, Jed, Ty, Kiefer, Vic. And then I was like, dude, like, Vic is probably the person. Like, yeah, yeah. And he was like, you really think so? I was like, oh my gosh, okay, well, if that's not what you think. And he's like, well, whatever, Ty then. Or, no, he said Ty in it. I'm like, who do you think it's going to be? Or who do you think it could be? I don't know, it could be Tara. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're delusional. Like, they're really not in this game. Oh my god. So what would your chat be like with him if you did? Well, he's like, can we please, please chat later? I kind of want to like have a fake talk with him, mm -hmm. like now, and then on like the very last day, like obviously when they're still up together, before he like brows and goes with a dude, like you need to like start opening your eyes up. Mm -hmm. What would the like, fake chat? What would like, the fake chat be? The like false hope? No, I think kind of what Rose said. Like yeah. I don't see you getting. I don't see Austin coming off. Right. Girl. Right. Um, and I, 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 even at the sink, I was like, I kind of had a chat with Ro, and like, I don't, I don't see him using it. Like, I don't think he's very comfortable with it. I was like, but we'll ta chat later. And he's like, yeah. And then he was like, I can see maybe why Jed and Ty like wouldn't or would want to break us up because like then the target is all, like they're the next duo. And I was like, honestly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, obviously, you know, that's bad for me too. He sees why we wouldn't want to break them up? Would. Because then, it, or, yeah, wouldn't. Would, yeah, wouldn't. wouldn't. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, wouldn't. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, we're going to be targets no matter what. It's just like, do we have the people that can protect each other, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not just going to be 
because I'm worried about being a target. We've been targets since day one. So I'd rather just have this strong, like, kind of like army of people that I can go to bat for you, you know? Like, even next week, like, we have, like, like five people I can win the HOH. So. Me, you, Ty, that kid? Yeah. That I would feel, like, very comfortable with. Me too. Yeah, Tina Tara are weird. Tina and Tara are weird. I don't yeah, know what's Tina going on there. Yeah. And honestly, as much as she wants to say it, Tina's not playing her own game. Oh, absolutely not. No. She's scared. So if you win next week, who would you put up? That would be interesting. It's always interesting for me. Uh -huh. It's always going to be like that. Hey, do you have Tara? You put up Tara? I could put it, I would put up Tara, but who do I put up beside her? I could probably swing something with Roe because he's really, really serious about him and I staying on the DL. Mm hmm So put him up? What else am I gonna fucking do? I have a way stronger thing with Brayden. If I put Brayden up, he'd be like, what, are you kidding me? I almost feel like at that point, if you like put Roe up with Tara and he's still on the block, he's gotta go. Good night, house guests. Sleep well. If he doesn't win the veto, like it's just worrisome now. Like to hear that he's planting seeds like this. What would I put up? I could put Tina up. No, you put Tara. No, you put next to her. Oh, I know. I don't You're know. not putting Becca. No. Becca will never touch the block. No, 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 no. You're not putting Keith up. It would have to be. It would have to be Ro. It would have to be Tara and Ro. But he would be like, why aren't you putting up Tarantino beside each other? Mm. I don't know. That would be a tough one. And know. you know that the one HOH I'm going to win is going to be like the one where it's really, really hard. Yeah, it's going to be. Like, I'm not throwing them. It's going to be the bloodiest one. <laughs>